Hello everybody, Noah from Scratch Genius here. Today I am doing episode 2 on the Scratch categories for beginners. We're going to be focusing on the looks today and I hope you will enjoy this video. Let's get into it. The first block we're going to be looking at is the save for a seconds block. When you run this, well then the sprite is going to have a little speech bubble pop up and it's going to say whatever text you put in here for this amount of seconds. The save block does pretty much the same thing, except that it does it forever until you make it say something else. The two next blocks, the think blocks, do pretty much the same thing, except that instead of a speech bubble, it's a think bubble. The switch costume block pretty much switched the sprite to the costume that you select here. The next costume block switches the sprite to the next costume. So right now, we are on costume 1. If we run it, it will switch to costume 2. If we run it again, costume 3. And if we run it one more time, it's going to go all the way back to costume 1. The switch backdrop block switches the backdrop to the backdrop you select in here. I'm going to select party, and it's going to switch it to that backdrop. You can also select next backdrop, previous backdrop, or a random backdrop. The next backdrop block switches to the next backdrop just like the next costume block does with the costumes. The change size block pretty much changes the size by this much percent. So if we put in for example 25, the sprite is going to grow by 25% every time I run this block. The set size block sets the size of the sprite to this much. So I can put it to, for example, 50, and the sprite is going to go to 50% size. Note that this is 50% the size of the original costume, not 50% of its current size. The change effect by block pretty much changes the selected effect by this much. So for example, if I select the world effect, it's going to change the world effect by the amount I put in here. The set effect to block pretty much does the same thing as the previous one, except that it's going to set the effect to a specific amount, not change it by an amount. The clear graphic effects block pretty much sets all of the previous effects to zero and clean up the huge mess I just made. The show and the hide block pretty much show or hide the sprite when you run them. Now if you want your sprite to be invisible, but still be able to detect if it's touching other sprites, then you can go over and set the ghost effect to 100. The go to layer block pretty much goes to the front or to the back layer when you run it. What it means by this is that if you put the sprite touching another sprite, well then it is going to go in front or it's going to go behind. The go forward or go backward layers block pretty much makes the sprite go forward or go backward this amount of layers. This is very useful when you have multiple sprites overlapping and you want them to layer properly. Last but not least, the looks reporters. These can be used as variables to detect what costume number or what costume name it is currently using, the backdrop number or the backdrop name, or the current size of the sprite. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please hit like. If you enjoy my channel, please consider subscribing, that way you won't miss any future videos. If you have ideas for content or questions, please post them in the comment section below. Have fun, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next video.